Um, the first thing to do is, is just to observe. This is an Android device, but it has a UI a lot like an um, iOS device. It's called an, we call this an app-centric UI, because what do you want to do? You want to press on the square for the icon you want. So if you look here on the device, the first two rows have badged apps, and the bottom rows have personal apps that are unbadged. And the idea is, is you train your employees that business apps have badges. You see the two rows of icons at the top. Those are your business apps. And personal apps are unbadged. And that's probably the extent of the training you want to give your employees. Because once they do that, they're familiar with the smartphone experience. They should be able to do their jobs. So the idea here is is that if the user wants to do his business email, he clicks on the badged email icon, which gets him to his exchange server. So I'll click on that. And the first thing you'll see here is that instead of opening the app directly, you've got to unlock the container. And what's nice about this is this lets the employee decide whether he has a passcode for the device, okay? but the enterprise can still have a passcode for the container. So I'm going to type my passcode, and now everybody's going to know it. Okay? And you see, you type it in, and then you get your email. Okay? And again, I'll, I'll flip back, because okay? so, that's my real corporate email. But what's important here is the employee experience is really simple. All you needed to learn was a badge on an app is a business app, and then the app functions in the normal way. So email, contacts, and calendar, those are the normal exchange PIM functions that the Android device ships with, and the same thing would happen on iOS. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you was how data is separated between the business apps and the personal apps. So you see here I have business photo gallery and I have personal photo gallery. If I click on the business photo gallery, you'll see one picture, okay, or two pictures, right? One of these was taken at the bar at the hotel last night. If I click on the personal photo gallery, you'll see a different set of pictures, okay? And why is that? It's because these apps should truly be separate. If the doctor takes pictures in the hospital, they should be kept separate than the pictures you take at your kid's soccer game. Okay? What's also important is how apps can share data. So if I click on this business gallery, and I actually click on this photo here, and I say share it, the apps with which it can share are only other business applications. You see other badged applications. So once you start a workflow, like that insurance example that we saw, you stay within the business ecosystem, and you don't have to think. Because the user shouldn't have the opportunity to make a mistake. He should live within that space. I'm going to show you one last thing, the use of the VPN. So, for instance, you see here two Chrome browsers. One could be used to browse the corporate intranet over the VPN, and the other one could be used to browse public internet, okay, for personal use. The browsing the public internet is, goes direct and is not logged, is private, okay? Browsing the corporate one should go through the enterprise filters. Um, this will be a little bit techy here, I'm sorry. Um, what I'll do here is I'll do what is my IP address, so this, remember, is the corporate browser, and um, now it's going over the VPN, okay? And, well, I'll prove it, okay, by showing you that the IP address here, right, is 128 something, and when the map shows up, um, the browser thinks I'm in Colorado, okay? Because that's where our data center is. Now, if I go to the personal Chrome browser, and I do the same thing with what is my IP address. You see it's 166. It's a different one. But more importantly, the map shows San Francisco. Okay? Now, what's really important about this is the VPN was used automatically and transparently, so the user didn't have to think. And liberating these corporate resources to be able to expose more than email to any user on any device is kind of the goal, right? Because you want to stop thinking about mobility, and you want to start thinking about how you use applications and enabling productivity. Thank you.